Hi everybody, um, back again. Uh, I keep saying that, I never know a new way to start off the interview, so I just keep saying the same thing over and again. But, new people, new awesome people, dead excited and chuffed to have um, uh, Thai boxing champion Dakota Decheva and her also Thai boxing champion mother, uh, Lisa uh, Howarth, who um, is her coach. And we're going to talk today a little bit about moving into the MMA arena, which I know very much little about. So, hello, guys, you all right? Right. Good, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking well, both of you. you. Always do, though. You know, whenever I see you, you're always looking awesome um, and badass. That's usually like there's a badass thing going on as well when I see it. She's in play. So, right. So, just a quick breakdown for everybody. Um, if we get to start with uh, Dakota, um, your age, uh, where you train, maybe your Thai boxing. Um, stats perhaps and your, your achievements there and perhaps where you're at in MMA and Lisa you know the same thing you don't have to tell us your age if you don't want you know or you can just tell us any age you like it's entirely up to you um yeah just a little bit sorry what's that I said I usually say 21 but maybe not well yeah but you know why not why not say that it's <laughs> In your, in your soul that's what it is so D D Dakota tell us a little bit about your background Um, yeah, so I'm 21, I'm actually 21 soon, uh, 22 soon, so um, I'm still on my birthday, but I'm 21 at the moment. I um, started off in Thai boxing at my mum's gym, Northern Spirit, um, which is in Manchester. Um, yeah, started when I was about four, didn't really do anything after that, came back to it when I was 13, 14, and then in that time I've had to like... 14, 15 pro fights now in Thai boxing, so I had quite a few, did quite well there. Um, and I've moved on to MMA now, so I'm um, trying to progress in, in that industry at the moment. So I'm training in Liverpool at Aspire. At Aspire, yeah, it's, um, I think, a savvy move, you know, uh, for a young person with your kind of talent. I, I briefly spoke to Lisa briefly at Blackpool, I think it was, and you, you mentioned uh, that she was, that Dakota was moving into MMA. Um, You've, you've got a potential career. You've got a fighting career ahead of you. You've already done so much. You've already achieved so much within the tie boxing and you've got so much potential. It makes sense to go where, you know, go where the money is. Is it about the money or is it about you just love MMA? Um, I mean, I, I want to make a career out of it. That's what I've always wanted to do, fight. So um, in tie boxing, obviously, it's not as popular. It's not... It's, not, not as much is going on in Thai boxing as there is MMA so um, that was one of the reasons why I moved over but also I've always wanted to try it anyway like I've always just wanted to to be able to do the groundwork and things like that and when I tried it I absolutely loved it and just took to it straight away so um, it was just a natural progression really like I never I mean I was having a break a little break from Thai anyway due to a few injuries and things like that I was struggling so um, it kind of just I always say things happen for a reason, so that's kind of where I've ended up, and I'm going with it and enjoying it at the moment. So I, I, I agree with that. Things happen for a reason, Lisa. Um, so tell us a little bit about your past, different, a little bit about. I mean, it's uh, you know, again, uh, different. We're in a diff different generation, to and and there wasn't a lot of women on the scene uh, when I'm, I'm. I'm guessing we may have trained at the same time, but maybe not. You know. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Lisa. So I started training, well, I'm 53 now. Don't mind telling you that. Um, <laughs> we I definitely didn't training, train uh, at the same time. My God, I had no <laughs> idea. 53, what a legend. <laughs> Good loss. Everyone says that. No one believes her when she says no, it. Man. Honestly, I thought you were my 44. I thought you were about the same age as me. Yeah. Mm. Oh, thank that. you. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I started when I was, um, th I started Thai boxing when I was 13, I was um, into the judo for a couple of years before that, so I'd spent all, you know, a lot of my life really around the martial arts. Um, 13 I went to uh, Master, Master Toddy's gym, started there and I was there um, for years basically, started competing at 16 obviously there wasn't the, the interclubs around back then so yeah. you know you didn't get that experience so i had my first uh, professional fight when i was 16 in holland so it was like a, a jump from nothing to <laughs> to um the international stage so yeah absolutely yeah, so i had my first one 
1983. Wow. Yeah, if I'm right about that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I was, um, so I won that one and then um, I went on to obviously um, do a number of fights after that at quite a high level. Um, I think the majority of my fights were international fights, international bouts, simply because there really wasn't the opportunities over here to, to, um, to compete. Um, I had a few fights over here, but not very many. And um, I changed around, I did Thai boxing, I did kickboxing, um, what was called full contact karate back then as well. So um, I changed depending on where the opportunities were really. So I um, competed in different places around Europe, um, Japan, um, America, Canada. So I've, I've traveled quite a bit with it. So yeah, that's where I went with it. What what got you into it, Lisa? Back then, I mean, like I said, the the, 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 the I was I've been sharing a lot about Jane Couch on the um you know on the internet. I know Jane Couch, and and it, you know, only this week did I find out that it was only it only became legal for women to box in this country in 1998. I mean, what was that all about? I mean, I started Thai boxing in 2000 myself, and I had no idea that like two years previously I probably wouldn't have been able to do it. You know, so what got you into the Thai boxing? I, I don't. I, I think um, I think it probably carries on now. Actually, I don't think the same rules apply in boxing as they do in um, in Thai boxing. So back yeah. then, I mean, I don't know how much we've progressed with it, but we've you know the governing bodies etc. Are, um, are not quite the same as they are in um, in boxing. Um, I think. There's one main body, isn't there, in the amateur side of it, etc. And yeah. um, we still have that issue of having uh, so many associations, etc. So we're not quite got that together. But um, I know it's moved forward a lot, and we're doing a lot of people are doing a lot of good things with it. So um, it has changed. But back then, um, there was nobody governing that type of thing. No. So yeah, we fought. I was fighting head contact, and you know, and we fought over here, and women women fought there were there weren't many women's fights but there were female fighters and it yeah. was quite cool. and I mean, did you was, see did, did you see somebody sorry i was going to say that it was different for you back then as well because like girls weren't allowed in the ring in thailand and things like that were they yeah i mean that's, was still, I mean, that, that's still the case i mean i went over and trained in um, in thailand you know when i was young and um they didn't let you train in the same ring as as the the guys but they did normally have a, a separate ring sort of a lesser ring that they would allow you to get in and even sit on the side of the ring they'd put a newspaper down or something so you could just sit like on the side I know. of the ring so because you know you might you might contaminate it with your uh, with your with your dreaded periods or something i don't know <laughs> something like that <laughs> yeah who knows but um, it, yeah it, it's still similar to that now though isn't it i mean don't women have yeah. to we're not that women aren't allowed to find in the main stadiums in thailand is that That's correct yeah, um, yeah i think that will forward i think that will happen it's yeah seven. yeah and 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 don't you have to go under the bottom rope instead of over the top rope is that still the case i mean yeah but i go under the rope that is like tradition for girls to go underneath the rope but i mean they a lot of girls don't over here they don't anyway but oh yeah here they don't know but in thailand would we get would you get told off I don't, I don't. I don't think so much now. But it, it, you know, in most places now, I think um, I think it's it's a lot more flexible, and yeah. girls are fighting in the same wing as guys. Obviously, that's not the case in the big stadiums, but it certainly is in the um, in the smaller ones. Um, and I don't think girls would have to go under the ropes now. Although I, you know, I hold my hands up and say I'm not 100 percent sure. To be honest, yeah, um, that's what it looks at. We, we've always done it. I I did it when I fought, and uh, Dakota carries on doing that now and it's just because for us it's not about about demeaning females or anything like that it's just a traditional thing that we it's a cult, it's just cult, it's cultural isn't it and it's uh, it's got to it's got to catch up with the uh, catch up i think really because it is um yeah. i'm always kind of a little bit outraged <laughs> at the idea of somebody would if you just roll under the bottom rope there right she'll be like i don't think so but in the same breath there uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> <laughs> but in the same breath, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go because I wouldn't want to, you know, it's their rules, so to speak. Yeah, I think if we were told to do that, that would be a different story. I think both of us would stand up and say, "Don't, don't, you know, don't, don't tell the girl to go under 
but because we choose to do that then yeah that's 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 a good strategy that's i like that strategy I, um at least but at least went last year uh was it year, last year uh, with tommy and she fought on a particular stadium one day um and then the next day tommy fought um so tommy was in the corner um doing alice's corner with with the team from thailand and then the next day apparently um tommy was fighting and alice was doing the corner but she wasn't allowed in the stadium until all the rest of the yeah. until everybody else had gone in so she had to wait out she's like but i i was fighting here yesterday and they're like it's just the rule so she had to wait outside um and then she was allowed in at, later on after other people had gone in or some kind of thing and it's just like it, 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 that's i mean i'd love to go and have a trip i'd love to try in thailand i've never had the money to go all the time do you know what i mean but i'd love it i'd love to train in a thai gym um but I could, I just wouldn't be able to cope me with uh, with anything that was like that. I'd be like, can you just wait outside? I'd be like, uh, no, I won't wait outside. So I best not go. You know, is what I'm thinking. Until things are different, I'll you know just stay away. You know. <laughs> I think I think things have changed. I mean, I've never we've we've been a, a few times to Thailand. We've never experienced that. We've never been treated any differently because we're females or anything like that. It just hasn't happened. And yeah. Um, Day. apart from that one time years ago when they said you can sit on the ring but you need to sit on like this newspaper um i mean i think things have moved forward a lot since then and i don't think it's a derogatory thing i'd never take it as an insult i think it's more a superstitious thing and yes. some countries are, do carry a lot of superstitions and stuff so i think it's about feeling that it would bring bad luck rather than anything sinister in it really yeah so, yeah, it's just like just just kind of like old fashioned, really, isn't it? And uh, like you said, it's getting it's getting better, isn't it? I think the women were only allowed to try fight in the bars before, but they're allowed in a few of the the bigger kind of competitions now. But okay, so getting back onto that MMA, Dakota MMA. I don't know very much about MMA. I did for six months. I did MMA, right? Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and I liked it. I used to do judo when I were a kid, so I quite liked. I quite. I quite liked it. Um, yeah. but me do the stand-up side of it i had to just do the ground when i went but i was like well i've got no chance you know i have a chance if uh, again sees but because it was all blokes if i do the stand-up bit if we do the ground bit, i'm just gonna get done in they're like well that's why you've got to do it so i quite liked it but i used to just cling on you know that what's the move where you cling on when you're underneath and then you never let go i just did that most of the time i was really good at clinging on and i'm like i'll just do this bit and i used to do that quite effectively <laughs> but there's got to be more to it than that <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what move that is, but you know what? If, if it worked for you, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably some kind of lie or a joke or something. It was like a, you know, like go and get get some like a tartan paint from the shop. Just cling on for grim life, there, Rach. Do you know what I mean? It's probably that. So go on, tell us. Um, you've been doing it for a year and a half. Your MMA. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you done any fights? How are you getting on? What's your favourite thing? anything that you what you know what do you want to t tell us about mma what's the difference are there is there more opponents that kind of thing what are the crowds like um go <laughs> oh god you put me on the spot here um you know i absolutely love it i think well i don't know whether it is because it was such a change from thai boxing like i've always been around thai boxing my mum used to do judo she used to do full contact karate i was just thai boxing that's it like and I've done it for so long and it was just nice to do something different and as well like I've in Thai I always felt so much pressure like just from <laughs> I blame my mum sometimes because she was so good it was like passed down to me and like I always used to say I wish I was just like I wish no one knew me I was still just as good and no one knew me and I could just fight and not worry about anything and things like that and then that was kind of what sent me over to MMA as well I wanted to start again I didn't want anyone to know me I just wanted to be like a beginner at the bottom again yeah. and i just absolutely loved it like there was no expectations on me or anything like that obviously now it's changed a bit in the coming and people are after me again but okay. um Good. as for the fighting and things like that i've done three amateur fights now um so i've got three wins but and i've also got um a, U, a uks d belt as well so i'm holding so at the moment already well, just say that again yeah so UK, amazing, well, sorry because um, you just you just yeah, it's totally different totally different to time 
Just, just oh, sorry, just tell us a bit. UKFC belt, I've got that. UKFC Back belt. In. So you, um, sorry, said so you've got a UKFC belt. Yeah, which I'm holding at the moment. So, I yeah, got a belt I'm already. Something, yeah. So I'm holding that at the moment. And you're not going to let anybody take that off you. Definitely not. I mean, I'm struggling for opponents as well. Like that belt was a little bit like, um, you know, if. I got the belt and now people are going to have to fight me if they want it kind of thing. Yeah. I was struggling to get opponents a little bit. So um, it's hard because I've got like loads of Thai fights on YouTube. It's, it's difficult to come over to, to MMA now. And even though I'm, I'm, I'm a beginner in this sport on the groundwork, I've still got that experience behind me. So it's, it's hard to get matched evenly. But um, mm. yeah, we'll get there. There's still plenty of people. I'm not in a rush at the moment. So. And is there more opponents in MMA than Thai boxing, or less? Or I'll probably, I would at the moment I would say less. I don't know. I'm not professional yet in MMA, so I mean, when I when I go professional in in MMA, maybe there'll be more girls and things like that. But at the moment, at amateur, um, yeah, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit in the UK. Can't just jump I... in with a couple of the lads or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> I think um, I think that she had um, the same problem in Thai boxing herself, though, really, because um, you she wasn't really that experienced in Thai boxing, and she was fighting like the top girls in the country. Mm -hmm. And the reason she wasn't that experienced was because she couldn't get that experience in the um, as as an amateur, and you know, as a junior, she struggled mm -hmm. as she became like stronger and more well known. People. Um, Rightly so, <laughs> didn't want yeah. to get in with her, you know, because she was very strong as a junior and then Absolutely. she moved into the um, the adult world from the age of 16 and, um, you know, she was fighting at a really, really high level. I mean, she's fighting the top girls in the country at 17 years old. So. Absolutely. I mean, it was one of the uh, one of the most excited I've ever been when you were fighting um, uh, Amy Perney, the Amy Perney yeah. fight. I, I literally, I, I was... I, I was at that fight. Um, it was. Is it Tanko? No, you know how it was. It was. Was it Tanko? Yeah. Yokow. Yokow. Was it Yokow? Maybe I wasn't. Some. You know, I can't remember. I always think I'm there, and then I'm not. I probably was because last time I said that to Chris Shaw, I was. Uh, I, I, I watched you I fight super like and I'm like, did I? Or did I just think I did? But I did. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah, it was about the most excited I've ever been, I think. I was like, um, I'm like, oh, this is going to be so good, this fight. You know, it's like, because Amy's absolutely superb. That's the first time I've seen Amy Perney. I was like, Dakota is just, just out of this world brilliant for a 70, you know, this is going to be savage. Um, and it was savage. It was absolutely, it's probably the, one of the best female fights I've ever see, seen. It was really nice. It was a commentary on it. Um was really respectful and 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 good if i know that sounds a bit for sometimes i find the commentary on female fights they don't necessarily get um uh, i don't want to say in a, in a i'm not trying to put it across in a negative way they don't necessarily get the same respect as the some of the fellas um yeah. uh, it, it comes across that way and it was almost like you could hear a little change it, during that fight I thought listening to the commentary I thought there's a little there's a little bit of surprise going not a little bit of an element of whoa you know and then the commentary was really good and it was really and I just thought it did a a great I think you personally have done quite a, a lot for female in in Thai boxing I think because by 17 as well you know um it's kind of no wonder you felt the pressure because you're 17 year olds and like you know who who are you going to have a massive fight with next? Do you know what I mean? Who's going to try? Who are they going to put you in? Intimid intimidated. Not that anything seemed to scare you, but um, the pressure just increased, increased. I, I get why you'd want to flip to something where there's just let me build it up myself. Let the expectation come um, from my natural progression rather than an expectation from my mum. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think. I think. It, it can it, it was exactly that because I remember then, um, um, I think Das Morris arranged the fight between Dakota and um, Becky Caslin and uh, Dakota was 16 at that point and it was yeah. B class and I was actually really reluctant to do that fight because obviously Becky Caslin's a very good fighter and, <laughs> you know, and I was really um, reluctant to do it because 
I wanted Dakota to gain a lot of experience before she went up there, you know, because I know what type of pressure she was going to be under. And once you beat those girls, you, where, where do you go after that? You know, because you can't, you can't then start fighting people that you should be fighting really at your age and level. Um, so I did want to hold back from that, but there really wasn't the other opportunities because people had started to say, well, no, I'm not going to fight Dakota and, you know, and stuff. So that, when we did take those fights and then she started to be successful, obviously um it, got harder. <laughs> it, it did get harder and, and it's not it's not a fight you don't fear the opponent and i know that because i'm the same dakota never feared the opponent but you, you, you the expectation of you is to win and to perform and the pressure then becomes you know quite a lot and and i think that's what she did feel the pressure regarding that and it wasn't the actual pressure of fighting it was the pressure of what's next the thing you know having to win wasn't it yeah like yeah. being expected to win absolutely and you did get that because you've jumped up you became quite uh, quite prominent quite quickly and it was like whoa who's this girl coming through she's amazing you know like uh, uh, and all eyes are on you aren't they but you know, yeah. uh, you're an interesting and a, not just a, a, a good tie box, but you're an interesting character as well, which is like, I think the MMA moves good. You're a super attractive lass. Um, you know, you've got a lovely personality. Um, you've got skills. Do you know what I mean? And charisma. You've got a lot to offer, uh, you know, um, a, a more, um, what's the word? A more... Uh, a, a sport with a larger audience where you can be kind of like an appealing kind of to as, as a sports personality you know i think you've got that um capacity as well as the skills you know and and i think it makes it makes sense to go down that that line um so where what, what's the next thing have you got anybody you want to fight if you could fight anybody who would you would you pick who would you pick um, no one, I just, there isn't any girls that I'm like, oh, I want to fight here, I want to fight here. Um, I just, anyone that really they put in front of me, like as long as my coaches think it's right, then whatever, it just, just someone that's going to like give me competition. Like I don't want the easy route. That's never what I've ever wanted. And I've never, never done that. So, um, just someone that's going to challenge me, basically, mm. that's all. Just have a good fight and just keep progressing. Yeah. Yep. And um, so there isn't like a, you haven't got your sight set, you know, like in the future. So you're thinking of like a pro fighter or something. I'm going to, I'm going to go for them. I'm getting, I'm, that's what I'm aiming for. Nothing like that. Um, no, no, not really. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not going to say there is, but I say I want to be as good as people, but I want, there's no one like I, I want to, like, I want to, oh, I want to fight here. No. You just want to be. You know, I think you might say you would like to be in, in the their place in time. Yeah. But she don't see herself there yet because she wants it to be a um, a progressive journey. You know? Yeah. And some of these girls that are at the top now, they're actually like uh, 30, 32. You know, they're actually moving on to the, the end of their careers and everything. And um, and it is that new generation that will be coming through. And and the likelihood is by the time she gets to that point, it, that will be the new generation. There'll be new people up there and new people to be so um she is young i mean for emma and a she's actually quite a, a young fighter you know so there is plenty of time it's just you know just doing it day by day i want you to see what happens that's what i mean saying you're so ahead of the game you know um you were a young fighter for uh for mma but yet you're so um uh advanced at the stand-up side of it you know it's um you're in a good position to to do well with your career it, it would seem um so uh have you got a favorite have you got a favorite mma fighter somebody that um inspires you yeah i do like him um, she's in the ufc actually i do like valentina shevchenko she's come from thai as well so um that that's not why i why i'm like i, I like her or anything but yeah she's her style and everything is like just why what, what i would like to to be like so she's i'm writing it down i'm writing it down so that i can google her after tell me your second name again oh, yeah. <laughs> Chef Chenko. so again shevchenko Chef, <laughs> Chef, Chef, right i'm googling it i'm gonna go i'm gonna have a look 
I'm going to get into it so that when you're on the UFC and the um, or on or signed up by one championship, I'm going to uh, I'll be like I'll know exactly what's happening. I'll be like be able to understand <laughs> everything about it. How do you feel about like um, the thing I've never liked about the MMA because I really like. I love the groundwork. I think the groundwork is super, super interesting because I did used to do judo and like judo. And obviously I like the stand-up because, um, you know, there's a lot of time involved in that. But I don't like ground and pound. I don't see pointing it as in like it's a little bit kind of, um, what's the word, uh, gratuitous or like just for the crowd. It's like, hey, look what happens if I smash somebody in the face 10,000 times, like when they can't get up. It's like, does it, I mean, how do you, how do you, um, how do you feel about that, Lisa? Would you, it's like if 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 Dakota was on the floor and she's getting an absolute mullering uh, in the ground and pound, how would you? How, how does that make you feel? Well, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm hoping she's not going to be in that position. I mean, Absolutely. That's probably, um, you know, I mean, you've got to look at the fact that it could happen, haven't you? I think it's hard because this is a month and eight. Um, you know, obviously, you don't want to see your daughter sort of like. Um, getting hurt and being in that position and everything but because I've been around it and I've done it not not obviously I haven't done the MMA but because I've been around the fight world for so long and everything it's 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 almost um part of me you know I've never known anything different I've trained fighting since I was 11 years old and you know I'm old now so <laughs> it's a good 40 years so I've, I don't know anything else. So actually, to be honest, I can hand, I can handle the fight side of it. I don't really get, I don't have that fear that perhaps any other mum would have, um, okay. because I just, it, it's just part of part of life, really. And, that's and I guess you've got to trust that you got to trust the referees, and, and it's about going on shows, isn't it? That you know, a uh, a good shows are, are done properly with you know medics and and, and decent refs and stuff. I, I guess that's important, isn't it? It, it really is, yeah. But I mean, I, I I think I was the one time that I really sort of looked at it and thought, oh, you know, I really don't want this. Is is recently when Joanna in um, MMA fought um, in that fight with the Japanese girl, and it was brutal. It was brutal, and when she came out of that fight, <gasps> her face was completely. That was, I think I saw it with the, where her forehead was absolutely. Yeah. Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> it was it was <laughs> it was such a good fight, but it was brutal, wasn't it? It was absolutely brutal. It was brutal. Yeah, all, all See, the thing girls, is with that yeah. fight though, is like it was mainly stand up. It was just that it was in small gloves. Yeah. Yeah, right. that's it. That was I locked in in bigger gloves and that had caused the same amount of damage it would be just as bad yeah it was that the nails though absolute troopers i mean hopefully she was all right you know i'm yeah. guessing she was all right well, what's it she is is she she yeah. probably will be soon yeah now. yeah did she live what's it like getting melted with a six ounce glove then as opposed to uh, what you used to wear in, in tie boxing i mean it's not not that nice but <laughs> uh, yeah well what do you, you know think right you adrenaline that gets you through it isn't it like you yeah. don't feel it until you get out really like yeah unless you're getting seriously like your nose know, splattered on your face and things yeah like yeah that. sure sure it's but not as br i don't think it's as brutal for girls really do you not think do you not think i'm so? gonna I say that say, like i would say lightly i don't like it's so fight. much worse for guys do you reckon if, I think if you if you look yeah. at what's what's happened in the past, then um, and you look at the fights, then I suppose you, you you're seeing a lot more injuries normally with the guys. Like you went some really brutal fights, but um, I I don't know whether that's just purely by percentage of fights. Yeah. You know, there are so much so many more fights, but I think um, and I, and I, certainly in the amateur game, I see, it seems to think that they stop it quite quickly. Anyway, you know, at this stage now, they that, stop that's the fight good. much sooner than in Thai boxing. I think. Well, I think that's probably. I think that's probably a good thing uh, yeah. for amateur. Yeah. Absolutely, you know, there's it's where you're learning, isn't it? It's learning your trade. There's no point in getting you know long term injuries uh, before yeah. you have a chance to even prove yourself. You know, so that that's positive to know. Um, let me have a little think now. What is it? So you only train with your mum, uh, is it three times a week, did you say? Yeah, our gym's only part-time, so 
just three times a week. And how often do you train at uh, Aspire? Um, I'm there five, yeah, five times, five times a week. I would say maybe more sometimes. Depends if I'm in camp or not. Fight camp. So do you do you, do you work when you're in a fight camp, or have you got sponsors? No, just sponsors. Yeah, which I'm lucky with to be honest. I don't think. Yeah, and a coach still as well down here at Mum's gym, but um. Without my sponsors, I won't be able to do it. Right. Do you want to mention, just mention your sponsors before, so we don't forget, because, you know, obviously it's nice to mention and they help you do what you do. Yeah, of course. I'm sponsored by One CBD. Um, they help me a lot, to be honest. Um, got a good relationship with them. Just gone on board with MMA Play 365 as well. So they're a betting advice company. Um, they give all, like, betting advice on the US and stuff like that so hopefully i'll have my name on there one day oh wicked yeah <laughs> definitely so, oh that's yeah. brilliant so i always um i always finish off with really stupid questions right this is it's the quick fire round okay um i think is there anything else you want to say about the you know about your the mma and your careers before we kind of move on to the to the wrapping it up because uh yeah. I don't want to miss anything important that you uh, that you want to talk about. Oh, I know. You're making a cl you've got a cl um a, a fightwear brand coming out, haven't you? I have, yeah, I have. Um, soon it's going to be launching really soon. We're just in the final stages, so in the next month or so, um, we're going to have a new um fightwear range coming out for girls. So we're going to start off with fight skirts. That's going to be the first launch. Fight um, skirts? Is that a skirt that you're fighting? Yeah. yeah so it's a skirt it's got shorts attached to it underneath um oh, in my last fight i actually i was gonna say you see your knick and knack news if you do spiting in your uh, <laughs> skirt <laughs> i've got it covered don't you worry <laughs> that covered but yeah so um i fought in um a pink army one an army print one in my yeah. last fight everyone was like asking where i got it from and everything so um yeah it's something that i've had like even in thai boxing it's something me and my mum to be honest i've always wanted to do i've always i've always It's cut out. Oh no. Hello. Are you still there? Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Happened. That was a we had a big pause then. There was a we missed. Uh, we, we we got to um pink uh is it leopard skin skirt? Oh, did you say leopard skin or combat skirt? I think army print it was. Army yeah. print? Yeah. And then it all went frozen. So what did you say after uh, that? <laughs> so I was just saying in my last fight, I fought in the, um, in, in the pink, obviously, outfit, which is um, what I'm bringing out. That's my brand. So, um, yeah, that will be, myself. yeah, design that on myself. So that will be launching really soon. Um, and it's yeah. called Dare, yeah, isn't it? Line, so Dare. Like Dare yeah. Fightwear, it's called, yeah. Dare Fightwear, I like it, groovy. Send me a link in that when you've got it all set up and I'll uh, and I'll, I'll send it about and stuff. Um, like I said, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I've made up. You can rock well, it at training. I'm not into, I'm just, you'd have to make it. What, what the Probably the best thing to do for me right now is sew two skirts together because um, that's, uh. <laughs> I, got, I got some new shorts for the gym just before, um, before lockdown. And so I got a new, some new shorts made up, uh, which was an opportunity for me to get some new shorts, which was good because I was wearing Barry's, my husband's, because I just about, and they, this mine was starting to look like cycling shorts. So I got myself a, a, a massive big old pair of, uh, you know, big old tie boxing shorts. I think they were triple XLs. I'm like, yeah, they'll do. I'll take those. So just before lockdown, I were in those. Now they're like cycling shorts again. And I don't even think that they make anything more than triple oh. XLs. So I think we're just... Telling you this lockdown, it ruined us all. Yeah, no, no, he's, I'm, I'm just going to get two of my shorts, sew them together, cut down the middle and sew, and just have to wear two pairs of shorts together. So yeah, maybe a skirt, I don't know, maybe some trousers, uh, some like kicking trousers or I, I don't know, yeah, but I'd, I'd give it a shot. I'd, I'd look pretty funny, I have to say, uh, but I look pretty funny in tie shorts, so uh, not to worry. But right, so that's Dare Fightwear and it's in a few weeks, did you say? Yeah, I think in a month's, uh, in a month's time, it, 
it'll um, it'll all be ready to go. Yeah, I think um, the website's almost ready to go. We're just finishing off some of the designs, but um, the idea really is just to have them um, to ha allow girls to be girls, and you know they might compete, and that's what Dakota's always stood for, really. And that is like you don't have to be, um, you know, like a man to yeah. to, to have skill and to be able to compete in uh, Thai boxing or MMA, exactly. and that's the idea really for for it to allow girls to remain girly, I suppose. Yeah, my my daughter, she's a super girly girl. Like, don't know how that transpired, um, <laughs> but she's super girly and and really delicate and stuff. Um, but she likes a football. And um, yeah. she can't be bothered training Thai boxing anymore um, <laughs> because she can't be bothered. Uh, but then she can't be bothered doing much at the moment, which she kind of didn't get it. Um, but then, um, but she likes doing interclubs. But you know, if she could wear a little, a little, you know, a, a, she would wear pink, a, a pink dress. Yeah. If she could, you know what I mean? And that would suit her, yeah. suit yeah. her down to the ground. So yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, I think it, I think it's really good for um, kids. I mean, they don't have to be, you know, um, to become big, you know, stars or in Thai boxing or anything. But it, it, for kids, it builds the confidence and, you know, it it allows them to express themselves. And I think for them to be able to do it, you know, for fun as well as for competition is great. So, and the one thing I said about Dakota is she had to make those decisions herself because when she started at four obviously she'd been brought up in the gym with you know that's all she'd ever known and I didn't want her to feel that that's what she had to do so she yeah. did a lot of other things between the ages of four and 13 before she came back to tie boxing and I think that that's really important that you allow them to be what they want to be. I 100% I, I agree with you it's always been the same she, with, with, with Robin as well you know she was in the gym in a travel cart when she was like um, a month old you know because you can't it, at least you can't go to a, an agency can you and say hi can you uh, can I get a Thai boxing instructor please to come and cover all my classes at my gym while to have my baby so yeah so she again travel caught in the gym with the baby so she's been there for all the time but I've I always I've encouraged her to train I ask her if she wants to but she don't want to she's never had she's never had to you know yeah. I always want her to I think inside I think god do it do it do it um but it's always up to her you know all the time yeah. right quick fire round <clears throat> okay quick fire um so <clears throat> you can both do this one i always do i always do um uh, kiss marry or roundhouse kick you know chris kiss marry kill okay yeah now then um again i had a little look on your facebook uh groups so that i can see what you're into and that that isn't Thai boxing so we've got um kiss marry kill Stormzy, Justin Bieber, Britney Spears. Oh, oh God. You can have different what ones. Is, you don't have to... kill? Kiss, marry, roundhouse no. kick. Right. Um, <laughs> kiss, marry. I'm thinking. <laughs> kiss, marry, and roundhouse kick. Right. And we've got Justin Bieber. Stormzy. Okay. And um, Britney Spears. Right, I'd round ass kick Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> I'd kiss Stormzy and I'd marry Justin Bieber all day long. All day long, really. I did I thought it was pretty easy. It was a pretty easy one that I thought. I'm giving you give I was giving it away. What about you, Lisa? Do you like Stormzy? What in the same in the, <laughs> the same <laughs> thing? Yeah, I think I'd have to go down the same route. <laughs> <laughs> kick, kick, roundhouse kicking Britney Spears is a little bit, it's, it's a little bit young for me just to be the play anyway <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it mum <laughs> I tell you what you could have picked something in my age range you know so well, don't worry about it. it just a number that's it I reckon Stormzy would be well up for it he'd be lucky Lisa, you know, he will be bloody lucky, I tell you. Um, <laughs> right, okay, so the next one is um, you've got to give a relatively swift response, but it's a guilty pleasure. Go, both of you. Oh, chocolate and Coke, but that's Coca Cola. <laughs> yeah, go on, Dakota. Oh, you've got me, you've got a sweet tooth, so you can't go in the same sweet. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Right, okay. Um, what, if you, right, imagine a world, if, if you were in a Thai boxing or an MMA fight, right? 
Uh, but you could tag team somebody. Okay, so this is for both of you. If you could have a tag team partner in, say, let's say Thai boxing for, for Lisa and um, MMA uh, for Dakota, um, who would your tag team partner be? It doesn't have to be a Thai boxer. It doesn't have to be an MMA. It could be like Rocky or something. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> who would your tag team partner be? Each other. Oh, no, I'd be against me more, Meg. <laughs> I'd have that. I'd, would you have? I'd, have uh, I'd have Jason Statham, just because of his image. No? Definitely. I, 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 off screen, he might not be able to fight, but on screen. Well, I'll yeah, take yeah, Bond yeah. then. Bond? <laughs> which one though? Which Bond, you know? James Maybe. James Bond. Which Bond is loaded? No, no, no. Which Bond is the same up? person, isn't it? Yeah, no, the, 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 the actor. He's going to be the current one, isn't it? Because he's quite badass, isn't he? Um, what's he called? Current one. What's he called? Hey, Barry, you're there, aren't you? What's, what's the current one? Yeah, the blonde, what's the current um, James Bond, Barry? Oh, Barry says, no, he does not. He does not want to be on the... <laughs> He's like, I'm in trouble for asking now, goodness. Yeah, we know who you mean. Okay, right, cool. Okay. I'd, I'd go Jason Statham as well, you know, because he's, you know, he's, he's not bad to look at, is he? <laughs> yeah, but one's better, I think. <laughs> right, what... Um, the worst chat up line you've ever been you've ever had you've ever received well it's been a while so <laughs> i'm just calling me that one <laughs> the, the worst chat line oh my god i may as well get my message request out i tell you because i've got the <laughs> i've got the right view in there do you um, yeah oh god i don't know what what chat line have i had don't tell don't, me a chat up line. Definitely nothing like special anyway, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no there's no what's the worst one we've had? Um it's gotta be a say I don't fall into um, that I don't know. I don't know what the worst is. <laughs> there's gotta be one way you've gone and say, What? <laughs> I've done that a few times. <laughs> Um, I don't know, honestly, I don't know what the worst one is. I don't know. And you've got maybe that's that's maybe our next Instagram quiz, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, worst. Yeah, worst chat up lines. You couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't, you've had so many, you couldn't pick one. And and what's the your best, what's your one. best chat up line? The one that works. Ooh. I mean. Away. <laughs> what, what was that? I said I don't want to give my best ones away. Oh, come on, you, 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 you <laughs> give everybody a hand, man. <laughs> I wish you would have a few chat up lines, but I don't even know. I don't even have got. any now. I tell you, my game is just well off. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't do dating, Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you've got to be training all the time. I don't time. need any chat up lines. I don't need any. No, that's it. I, I, I don't blame you. What about you, Lisa? My chat up lines. Oh, God. I'm sure you can pull some funny moments out of the bag, love. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got any chat up lines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're hiding your face. I'm like, wait until she... Go on. I don't know. I don't know what my chat up lines are. I've no idea. I don't really chat anybody up. So yeah, uh, you had to wait from some. Right, pull one out of bag from 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 a uh, from a dad then. From your dad, he chatted yeah. me up, not the other way around. Ah, uh, see, I wasn't sure. I didn't want to go down that path just in case. But now there was a what? He, what, was, what was his moves? What what won the heart of Lisa? Well, I don't know. I think that. Um, well, I always tell him that he, that it was my voice that he, you know because I was I met him in um, a karaoke bar, so I, I always ah. say when I was singing, <laughs> it I, wasn't a voice. It I, definitely I, wasn't I, a I voice. I was singing, I will survive, and I always say that he fell in love with my voice. That's but it. He'll, he'll always deny it. I don't know where it is, but you know he doesn't seem to think it was that. <laughs> I know what's going to happen. You've got the fight. You've got the dare fight we're coming out in a month's time. Give it another six months, and you're going to have a record label. Um, <laughs> with, uh, with with Lisa doing a, a singing, uh, love it. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised nobody signed me up, but Dakota keeps telling me that it was um, not expected. So I don't know. 
<laughs> I think that's it. I think we've come to we've come to the end. I've come to the end of uh, of my questions and my uh, and my ideas. And you know, I've got no chat up lines that I can use. Or well, not that I can any. I've got a I've got a happily yeah, married. But you know, anyway, what's my sorry? What's your best chat up line? My best chat up line. Oh, um, it's probably really negative, like back off or something, you know. <laughs> you know, just like poof, I don't know. It's uh, it's like a oh, surprise. It'll probably be like surprise. I, I never had a great deal of success, if I'm honest, um, until I met my husband. Um, yeah, I don't know. Tight, tight clothes. <laughs> <laughs> When I, I had a better been, figure, I? yeah. When I had a better figure, yeah. But no, no. You know, I thought maybe there'd be some. I thought you. I bet you've got loads on your your Instagram, people, Facebook, and you. Oh, Dakota, you're the greatest. You know, when are you going to be up in my part of the world? We'll go for a drink. It's like, yeah, random person. You know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. It's been boss talking to you. Really good laugh. Um, really nice. Oh, always nice to speak to you guys. Anyway, and uh, and uh, I'm dead chuffed that you've come on. And, and and I'm and I'm going to start following a bit more MMA and see if I can um, so that when you hit the, the pro scene, I'll be I'll be all clued up and ready to uh, ready to cheer cheer you on and stuff. Know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so I'll say goodbye for now. All right. Thanks again, guys. Uh, really enjoyed talking to you. And um, thank you. Thank you for having us on. No worries. And uh, I hope you, the rest of your lockdown works out okay and everybody's, everybody stays safe. All right. So thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you later. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye